Now we're back to GIMP. Someone in the comments asked me how to save a gradient. It's a little bit more complex than you would guess in GIMP. Let's simply create one. You can see the last custom created is saved automatically. So even if I close this and restart my GIMP, it stores the last gradient that I worked on. Let me change this a little bit on both ends. And you can see in the preview window, it overrides the last custom gradient. So if I now, for example, switch position here, this preview window is automatically adjusted. It's a new custom. And if I make this like a black to white gradient, we've overwritten it. Let me create one, maybe a reddish color here. And now let's say we want to store that so that we have that. For access every time, we need the gradient menu right here. If you can't see it on the right, go to Windows, Talkable Dialogs. Control G is the short key for it. Or left click here, it should open up. And here you can right click on these gradients. And then for example, save them. You have two ways to save them. This POV ray. This is what you want to do if you want to access it in GIMP itself and save as CSS is the cascading style sheet for coding. And the easiest way to just save them is to duplicate your custom gradient. So right click on the custom, duplicate it. It should open right here in the gradient editor. Give this a new name, tutorial gradient, for example, press enter. Then go back to your gradient menu. And here you can see we've got the custom and down here the tutorial gradient. So this is now automatically saved. And if I change the custom, let me give that a different color. You can see our tutorial stays in this reddish color, so we can still access it. Let me close GIMP and then refresh it. And here you can see we still have our tutorial gradient. Custom is also stored, as I've said, the last created is always saved. And if you don't want to have it anymore, right click and then delete the gradient. As I've said, a little bit more complex, but once you know how it's done, it's not that hard. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.